What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a little bit of a chat about the One Piece trading card game. Because, actually, there's a bunch of stuff going on with the One Piece trading card game right now. There are a few fun little bits of news that we need to be covering. And that seems like a good thing to have a little bit of a chat about in this video. And we need to start off with a new kind of tournament. Well, kind of a new kind of tournament. We've got the One Piece card game Pirates Party Volume 1, which is happening between December and February. December 2022 and February 2023. Now, these are here to support stores and new players of the One Piece card game. And the whole point of this is that it's for casual players. There are participation prizes, but no actual prizes for winning. You don't need to register on TCG Plus for stores or players. You just, your store asks for a kit, and then you have a play. And that's it. And these are very much, does, and we've seen this in Digimon as well. I, I keep telling you how One Piece is copying the Digimon model. This is another great example. This is not meant to be a competitive tournament to prove you are the very best or anything stupid like that. This is supposed to be a fun little tournament where you go along and have a little bit of fun. And when you go along, you get yourself promo card 24. I'm going to be king of the pirates. It's a green card, two cost. You lead against a thousand power for each of your characters during this turn. If you flooded a field with characters, that can be very, very good. And as a trigger, up to one of your leader or character cards gains a thousand power during this turn. It, it's pretty good, actually, as, as far as promo cards go. It's certainly the main here, more so the main than the trigger, can actually give you an extra, like, 5,000, which can clearly be very, very good. But it's just a nice way to go along and pick this up. More proof, if anyone needed, that these promo cards are going to end up in English at some point. It, it seems pretty, pretty confident that that is actually going to end up being the case. And I love this. Because, now this is, as it stands at the moment, an exclusive promo. Now, generally speaking, I talk about this a lot in Digimon, One Piece, but in pretty much all the games. I'm not a fan of exclusive promos, generally speaking, because if the promos aren't super easy to get hold of, then you end up in this awkward situation where, if they're good, then people have to try and get them, and that can be really awkward. And it can be really hard to tell sometimes if a promo is good or not. Sometimes a promo doesn't look like it's good, and yet, actually, you know, a couple sets down the line, a couple of months down the line, something changes and it becomes really good. So, it's nice, generally, when they're reprints. I love alternate art reprints of promos. That, for me, is a sweet spot. But this is a decent enough card. And like I say, you get it for going along to the meeting. And that's it. You go along, you take part, you get one of these. Jobs are good and ladies and gentlemen. Jobs are good and Now, we did talk the other day that there are in-store tournaments happening, and these are a little bit more serious. Now, these are the ones I talked about with the Store Tournament Volume 1. These are the ones where when you turn up, you get yourself a tournament pack, and if you win, you get yourself a winner's pack. And these actually, again, do have exclusive promos, whereby you either get yourself, you know, the tournament pack has one of those five promos that were on magazines in Japan, the Monkey de Luffy from V-Jump, or the Monkey de Luffy, Yamato, Trafalgar Law, or Kaido from Psycho Jump. So, again, these are exclusive promos. They're not particularly great, and I, I don't like exclusive promos to tournament prizes. I, I think I've been pretty clear about that. Do also note that the winner's promos are not just stamped, but they are actually slightly different artwork. Well, they're the same basic artwork, but you can see that you know, the background's a little bit different, I think is probably the way to put it. It's kind of, it's zoomed in a bit and the art is echoed in the background for most of them. Is generally, although the Kaido does look quite, quite a bit less different, if that makes sense. It's weird. But these are ones you get for going along to the in-store tournament, to Store Tournament Volume 1. These are very different. Store Tournament Volume 1 are the go along, register on TCG+, Plus, be competitive, try and win. That's the store tournaments. What we're talking about here are the, uh, the learn-to-play tournaments. The nice, simple learn-to-play tournaments. Jobs are good un. 
Now, something else that's gonna be revealed are the second lot of sleeves, which are coming out in Q2 2023. Remember, the first lot of sleeves are literally just the starter deck leaders, essentially, as sleeves. Not saying they're not cool, incidentally. I'm just saying that's basically what they are. This is where they start deviating, and this makes sense. First lot of sleeves, let's just make them like the starter decks. Nice and familiar. And then from here, they can start getting a little bit weirder. And they are getting a little bit weirder. And I, for one, am absolutely delighted. Now, the first two, you know, we've got the classic. And every, I don't think I've ever found a card game that hasn't done this. This is, it's almost like a rite of passage that every card game has to go through at some point. Where you get the back of the card as a sleeve. And I kind of love it. Because if you like the design of the back of the card... You don't want to play unsleeved because playing unsleeved is bad. That's bad for your cards. It's going to get wrecked. So here you sleeve them up and you've still got the same design. You've still got the same artwork jobs are good in. But your cards are sleeved and protected and things are good. And then the second set of sleeves is the same. But I want to say pink. I'm colorblind, so... Don't judge me too harshly, please. But I'm pretty sure they're color they're, they're pink. I definitely am colorblind. I'm pretty sure they are pink. I feel like if I showed my daughter these, she's asleep right now, it'd be very rude of me to wake her to ask. But I'm pretty sure if I showed them to my daughter, she would be a big fan of the pink sleeves. That's not a stereotype. My daughter's favorite color is pink. Eh, pink and purple. So they're kind of standard. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of like those pink card back sleeves. I might get them. Now, we do have Monkey to Luffy, fairly standard. It's Monkey to Luffy, what would you expect? We're going to be seeing a lot of monkey sleeves over the next few years. Assuming this card game holds, we are going to be seeing a lot of Monkey to Luffy sleeves over the next couple of years. But one thing I really love here are the Tony Tony Chopper sleeves. Now, it's not necessarily because I love Tony Tony Chopper, although he seems adorable. I'm not watched much of the anime i have started but i've not watched enough of it to really come down like that but he seems adorable and it's not necessarily because i love the design although the design is cool it's the artist now if you've been playing the pokemon trading card game you have probably whether you recognize it or not you have probably seen some cards by so so because so so has been drawing cards in the pokemon tcg for years they are a very prolific Pokemon TCG artist who's been going for a long time. And this is the same artist. And it, it has to be the same artist. Now, I believe they've been going since Forbidden Light. Over on PKMNCards.com, the oldest card they've actually got is the Avalug from Forbidden Light. And you can see here straight off the bat that this is very clearly the same artist. The artwork is very distinctive. Incidentally, this was May 2018. So you're talking somewhere in the region of four and a half years they've been doing Pokemon TCG cards. And now for some reason they're doing One Piece sleeves. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love it. If anyone's wondering about the best of the so-so cards that they've actually drawn for the Pokemon TCG, there are a lot of contenders but I think if I had to pick one, and I'm making myself pick one in this video, I think I'd probably have to go for the Porygon 2. The Porygon 2 is adorable. That's the one from Unbroken Bonds. But again, you can see the artwork here is very, very distinctive. As soon as I saw these sleeves, there's no mistaking it. I don't need to see a signature of the artist. I don't need to see the copyright information. I don't need to have some announcement of, hey, so-so. No, it's obviously so-so. It's really obviously that artist. The artwork is incredibly distinctive. Now, as it stands at the moment, unless I've missed something and I don't believe that I have, Soso -So hasn't actually drawn any cards for the One Piece card game. I kind of hope that changes, ladies and gentlemen. I very, very much hope that changes. Because look how great the artwork is. Now, I'm not sure if the art style here necessarily suits the One Piece TCG. But then again, we, we've had cards that are literally photographs of action figures. So, I don't think we should be getting too precious here about what fits and what doesn't fit. But yeah, I really want this to keep going, ladies and gentlemen. I really want this to keep going because this is awesome. Big fan of Soso, generally as an artist, and I love that this is happening here. Long may it continue, and if we haven't had any Soso cards, and I don't think we have, 
I would really like it if we could change that. And the final piece of news is not a big piece of news, but it is something we need to have a, a very quick chat about. The cleared card case has been updated. It is coming out in Q2 2023. It is retailing for $6.50. And they're deck boxes, all right? Let's not beat around the bush. They're deck boxes. They're going to cost £6.50. Or $6.50, sorry. They're cool. We don't have One Piece deck boxes at the moment. That will change when these release. If you want One Piece deck boxes, these are pretty cool. And they've got one that matches the back of the card art. Or the, the, back, the art on the back of the cards. And if you don't want them, that's cool too. They're here. Yay. I have very little analysis of these. They look cool. Buy them or don't buy them. It's up to you. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about these smaller tournaments and the promos. I want to know what you feel promo. I want to know what you think about these sleeves and so-so as an artist. I want to know basically anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you get us? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and chat with us, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.